Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel where we focus on the mindset and tactics needed to become a professional salesperson. If that sounds like something you might be interested in, make sure you smash the subscribe button and look out for these videos every Tuesday and Thursday. In today's video, we're talking about how to execute a follow-up call. This is a big video today because most salespeople, 99% of salespeople, follow up in an amateurish way. Thanks for watching. Let's get into it. Most salespeople open up a follow-up call the wrong way, whether it's from a cold call six months ago and the prospect told you to call them back in six months, you just had a demo call, or you're trying to close the prospect. Whatever it is, wherever you are in the process, you're probably opening your cold call or the call, the sales call the wrong way. Most people will say touching base, checking in. You know from a previous video, I'll put it above my head right here, the top 10 things I hate that salespeople say on calls, those were two of them. They're weak language and every other salesperson says it. And you guys know we're trying to be different, unique, and better than the amateur salespeople. So how does a professional salesperson open a cold call? If I was calling Frank and Frank told me three months ago off a cold call to call him back now because my time will be a bit better and a conversation would make sense now, this is how I'd open the call. Frank, thanks for taking the call. It's Matt with ABC Company. How you been? How you been? I'm not saying how are you, how you been? We spoke in the past. It's going to trigger his brain and kind of scramble his brain. He's probably going to forget who I am. But how you been is so important, not how are you. Big difference. So I'm going to ask him how you been. And then I'm going to get into the reason for the call. The reason for the call, Frank, we spoke six months ago. You were kind enough, invited me to get back on your radar now because you said a conversation might make sense regarding X, Y, Z. And I'm going to shut up listen, and let Frank take the call in the direction he wants to take it. That's how you open a follow-up call. None of this touching base, checking in, circling back. It's weak language. Try that on your next follow-up call, whether it's from a cold call, a demo call, a closing call. I think you're going to have more success. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Like the video if you like this type of content. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to be notified every Tuesday and Thursday when we post our videos. Thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate it.